Hello YouTube. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at uh, paint.net's interface. Um, I know the last three videos were a little bit, you know, like uh, do this, do that, do this, but um, now we get to get into the kind of base program and kind of work with how everything works and show you guys the basics for beginners and stuff, uh, what you can do with it. Um, I'll probably end up doing more of an advanced user tutorials and stuff later down the road for people that are kind of familiar with the program or have watched these series. Um, outside of that, this is basically what you get when you start it up for the first time. Um, you have your history over here. Now when you do any change like that, it adds to your history. Uh, you have your color palette. There is a more um, and less button right here where you can adjust the uh, color you're working with. So say I wanted yellow or something, right? Um, down below is your tools and I'll probably end up doing a few other tutorials for you know the interface and stuff like that just kind of right now I'm just giving you the estimate of or kind of glance of what everything is. Uh, we'll probably get into the layers a separate tutorial and adjustments and effects but I'll show you the basics of the program as well as the tools and what the icon for the tools and stuff are. So we'll, we'll tend to that in a sec. Now layers, layers is something another tutorial but um, if we move over to the top here um, along here this second or the last row right before the ruler again you can turn on and off the ruler right here so if you don't want that extra space then you can turn that off um, there's also a grid now you'll probably not be able to see the grid unless you zoom in but there is a grid right here um, it doesn't export with your actual image so you don't need to worry about that um, but it is handy if you're working on like pixel by pixel kind of work. Um, all right, so under the file tab, you have all your basic, I don't know, file options like new, open, save, and stuff like that. Edit, uh, I guess the standard edit stuff like um, copying and pasting and inverting selection, deselect, etc. Um, view, you have your zoom and zoom to window. Now zoom to window is basically fitting the whole entire thing into your window size as the uh, actual size is completely different. Uh, for example, I will demonstrate 2000 by 2000. Now this is by default when you create a new Thing, a new workspace which is the create new thing you get it fit to your screen right because this is 2000 by 2000 no resolution is really that high unless you're on a TV so if we go to view actual size as you see the workspace is a lot bigger um, it's good for working and kind of figuring out um, how big you need to um, paint something or if your image is to scale or whatever, right? Um, zoom to window brings it back to the original state and I think there is oops, I think there is a zoom to selection. Yes, zoom to selection. So it will zoom it to the selection as well. Um, you can also rotate the image. Um, for instance, just going to Go like that and rotate it. As you can see, it rotates the actual image. If I rotate this, you can see that it rotates the actual shape of the image as well. Um, now, if you were to want to actually flip some, like flip your workspace and stuff, you could do this. You can flip it like that or you can flip it like that and it will sh it should stay the same um, yeah see 
doesn't matter. It keeps the original shape of the workspace, but you can rotate the contents inside of it. Um, this is handy if you need to make a mirror image of something. Um, we'll get into that later with layers and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's basically all there is for that. Now the general thing right down here is just the basic um, things that are mostly used like um, new, open, save, print, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and then your grids. Your undo and redo are there. You can also do control Z to undo and control Y to redo. Um, and there's a few other shortcuts that you can actually find in here. They're all on this side right here that you can find. Um, anyhow, that's all I have time for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's some more videos right on the screen right now that you can click. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.